for you guys that need a kick in the ass, this is going to be the ultimate kick in the ass to go. When you're feeling sorry for yourself, think about what this man went through and did. Go for it. Yeah. So I had um, was I had um, prostate cancer and I had it in all 13 cells in my system, but didn't know it. And we were I was eight weeks out from him and my wife talking me into doing a bodybuilding show for some, <laughs> some, for some ungodly reason, which it's always like I've always talked to him about it. But I figured, yeah. You know, I don't, that's a lot of work. And, and, but I didn't even know the work that it was at the time. It was just in my, you know, what I thought the work was, Right. which I figured I could do it, but I didn't want, like, I'm not a dieter. I'm not really much on a diet person. I eat right. (laughs) I eat kind of right, but um, I'm not a diet. And when you do that, and I'm the kind of person, of course, as you probably can tell, is when I go, I go like a hundred percent. So like, I was think I was, I was a little bit out of the thing and found out I had that. So I did that cry on froze it all and it went away. But for the, you know, year I couldn't do TRT or anything because yeah. of the, just the, what it yeah. is, you know, about absolutely. That. absolutely. You know? So we did my, <laughs> we did my test levels and I think they were like the, the doctor had said, well, yeah, I think they're negative. I don't even think they're registering right now. And to function like that and to know how I was functioning, you talk about a struggle (laughs) to do anything. I mean, it was a struggle to open my eyes. It was a struggle to walk. It was, (laughs) it was, it was, you know, if I never, like, I'm okay if that never happens to me again. I bet. You know, so, I bet. so, 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 mm, yeah, that was a, that was a little rough, but it's you know, it's 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 what you do. like it. You put it in front of me. You just got to walk through it. I don't, you know, and it's not yeah. that I'm saying that it's just me, but I don't. It's just a thing. It's happening right now, right? And you, yeah. and I guess it's just the person you do with it what you want. Like I could let it you know, quit everything and do this. And I went, yeah, that's not a, I'm not quitting. <laughs> like, that's right. not a thing. like, what does that mean? You know, so you yeah. just, you push through it and you get past it. And now I'm past it. I'm good. Everything's good. And, you know, and that's what happens when you push through and you do what you're supposed to do, you will mm-hmm. always come out better on the other side. So, mm-hmm. you know, but I agree. It was, that was tough. Yeah, a little, a little rough. Yeah, yeah. A little rough. Yeah. But the, the, I wanted you guys to hear that just because he didn't do it when he was in his 20s or 30s. He did that three years ago when he was 57 years old. Yeah. Still competed. And the point of competition is, like he said, it was something he did not foresee and it was harder than he even assumed. But he still blasted it when he made the commitment. And all mm-hmm. I think at the end of the day is when we say, is there a trick? Is there something? Yeah, it's it's you committing to yourself saying, I don't care. I'm going forward. 